What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here, bringing you the five best things of World at War. Took a little bit to uh, do this um, video to get this ready, but uh, we have the five best things of World at War. But before we even get started with today's commentary and the five best things, I want to thank you all of you guys who subscribe to me. I have over 100 subscribers, so thank you for that. I'm not going to make a separate video. I just don't think it's necessary, you know. Uh, I'll make that when I hit a bigger number, but anyway, what we're gonna be talking about today, I'm, uh, also, I'm just playing, uh, it's hard to get gameplays in World at War, so for the five worst things, I'm just gonna put some zombies gameplay up, because World at War, as everyone knows, is hacked, and obviously Activision's not gonna deal with older games, so, you know, it's harder to get World at War gameplay, so leave a like for that, and, um, we'll get to all that in the end of the video, but, uh, the playlist link is in the description below for the whole playlist of this series, so anyway, we're gonna get right into it with number five, being the um, you know or we'll just say number one being the very best thing how about that all right number five what I really like about this game is the World War one era plus the battle chatter voices I had to combine them because there was six and uh, you know I wanted to throw that in so the World War one era I love the bull action rifles I love the voices that they uh, you know Robux speaking and everything else I love all of that it just uh, I think this game had the best for that, the best, um, you know, the best stuff like that, and also, I love the fact that they made, um, when, like, if you die by an explosion or a grenade or something, half of your body got torn off, I mean, they got rid of camos to do that, if you didn't know that, like, that's the reason why there's no camos in this game, but it's just... I really love the fact that they took the detail and stuff to do that, and it's, uh, I love the, uh, like I said this in my Black Ops one, I love the Black Ops era, that's why I love playing Black Ops, and World at War is the same thing, I love, I really want them to bring a World at War, and obviously with, um, this Advanced Warfare stuff, we're getting a future one, so hopefully Treyarch could bring a World at War era. So the next one, number four is it is harder to quickscope in this game. It's harder to quickscope in World at War than COD Ghosts. I mean, remember remember what they said in Call of Duty Ghosts? Like, what uh, I forget who said it, but they said quickscoping will not be in the game. Quickscoping will not be in the game. Uh, apparently it is. They lied. Obviously, I kind of figured that they would lie, but quickscoping, uh, you can do it. You can do it in World at War, but it's it's not a thing that's just, it's just there. Like, you have to have skill, I guess you could say, to quickscope in World at War. It's not, it's not like, um, you know, people just go around quickscoping. Like, all these rifles in here are harder to use, and even if you do quickscope, more chances you're probably gonna get a hit marker are very likely because, uh, you have to get, like, a headshot to get a one-shot kill anyway. Uh, in most cases, if you try to quick scope, so uh, that's it for the quick scoping part. And I, that's what I love about it. You know, some people love quick scoping and stuff like that. But um, you know, getting on to number three now. After that is the dog kill streak. As we just pick up our dog kill streak there, and I uh, call it in the uh, the doggy dogs. The attack dogs were seven kills in this game, and uh, they're really a good kill streak. And the reason I love them is because uh, it's different from the Call of Duty 4 chopper. You know, a chopper is just a regular chopper. They Treyarch tried to make it different within World at War. They tried to uh, implement new things, and obviously they have the recon and the artillery, which are kind of basically the same thing. I th I don't remember what Call of Duty 4 had. I know they had the UAV and the. I think Call of Duty 4 had some kind of like an airstrike thing. Yeah, they had like a precision airstrike but um you know world at war uh Treyarch implemented dogs and I, I love the dogs in this game they do so well they're really good and the thing is they're only a seven kill streak uh you know it seems like not a lot like because in black ops 2 you know they were a higher kill streak but the dogs are a fantastic streak i just love them number two and number one the reason why i put number two as being zombies is because number one um, more people probably did this than zombies. I mean, zombies was still really big, but anyway, zombies, really, really good. When the game mode first came out, it was just a test game mode to see if people liked it. People ended up loving it. That's why it's in all the Treyarch games today. And, uh, you, as you know, it started off with not der, knock der on Toten. Sorry, that's, uh, Night of the Dead, I believe, in German. And, um, yeah, so it started off with that. And what it was, it had no perks on, it was just a, basically a skimmed down version of zombies, and then they implemented more zombie maps, which Duris is one of the greatest zombie maps uh, in all of zombies, and that was in World at War, and stuff like that. So, uh, zombies really grew today, and it's that's why it's one of the biggest game modes today, so obviously, if you didn't know that, zombies uh, started off in World at War, and that's why it's number two. Number one on the list... 
getting down to number one. Um, I don't know if you ever played this game mode, but it's the game mode War. The game mode War, you can't really, obviously, you can't play it now, because either it's gonna be hacked or you can't find a lobby in it, which is what happens most of the time. I wish I really got War gameplay, but, you know, it just it's just really sad that you can't find it. But War is basically two teams, and it's, it's way different than Domination. You have to, like, hold, it's like one objective, it's objective by objective, and you hold one, and then once you capture one, which is really hard to capture, it's not like an easy capture, you gotta like, stay on it for a while, and then you get Blitzkrieg, which makes you capture the flags two times, and then three times faster, and then once you capture all fla five flags, you win the game. It's a really, really fun game mode, and that's why it's number one. A lot of people probably played it if they have played World at War before, so you obviously know what the war is, but I'm just explaining it for people that don't know what war is, uh, or people that have never played World at War before. World at War had some great stuff in it, and, you know, I obviously said it would have had six options, but I had to combine the battle, combine the battle chatter voices uh, in with the World War One era, but anyway... Uh, that is it for the five best things of World at War. Leave a comment below and uh, if you ever played this game and if what you like about World at War. And uh, like the video, subscribe for more Call of Duty content as I try and bring them out daily. I, you know, um, I try and do that. The game just ended. I'm Ninja Geek. I'll see you on my next video. I'm out. Peace.